بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله على محمد وآله الطيبين الطاهرين ولعنة الله على أعدائهم أجمعين من الأولين والآخرين إلى أبد الآبدين The life and the world that we are living in is full of tests and tribulations At one stage of our life we must go through these tribulations This is the nature of the life that we have been brought to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala our creator has made this life into an interim life a temporary life as we enter this life we leave this life because this life is not the eternal life we are not here to stay as we come we go so we are tested maybe some are tested in their families some some are tested in their health some are tested in their wealth and some are tested in the relationships with other people. One of the stories that I want to relate to you today is a story of a man who lived for more than a thousand years. And he is one of the chosen ones that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had chosen to convey his message to his people. His, he is Prophet Noah, Prophet Noah, as some know him. Prophet Noah came to his people to convey the message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala which is to believe in the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to follow Allah and to stop the worshipping of the idols and to stop engaging in corruption and in things that would take away human beings and mankind away from the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Prophet Nuh was advised by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to stay patient as this is the advice that Allah gave to the majority of his prophets and messengers why because it is the nature of mankind that they would not receive or follow the call of those who wants who want the best for them prophet noah went through many trials and tribulations his people for 950 years tortured Prophet Noah until one day they tortured him so much that for three days he lay there in his house unconscious and blood was pouring out of his ear. He was tortured, he was hit, he was beaten, he was deprived of his livelihood and, and Prophet Noah remained patient, he remained steadfast. He showed perseverance in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and until the end where Prophet Noah asked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to help him in completing his mission Allah advised Prophet Noah to choose from every creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala a pair and to get them to embark upon the ark and the rest of the ignorant individuals who disregarded the call of the Prophet they went and they perished because they did not listen to the call of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So perseverance and steadfastness is needed in our lifetime because the tests and tri trials and tribulations that we go through, we should not allow them to shake us and we should not allow the fierce ties and storms to take us left, right and center. Why? Because the test is for you to show your perseverance and steadfastness in worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Whatever you go through, whatever problems you face on a daily basis, the problems you have at home, the problems you have outside in the community, at work, at school, at college, whatever, in your health, in your wealth, with your children, one day as the sky fills with cloud and starts raining and is stormy, the next day you will see the sun shining upon your life. But it needs that steadfastness. It needs that perseverance. It needs us to hold on tightly as those who embarked on the Ark of Noah and they reach the land of salvation. We will also reach the land of salvation one day. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.